holding the wrist is very forward lesson because it's easy for him to slip out. So anytime I see you see this, it's easy for him to slip out. Yeah, anybody who's got a little bit of swing, arm swing, will slip out of that. I don't care how much I'm holding him here, you he will slip out. Not so much when I'm holding here, right? Now if you try to try to slip out, nah. Okay? But that's physics. You always hold the furthest point for maximum leverage. This is not the furthest point. This is. Okay? You twist this. Makes it, it, it just disrupts the natural alignment of his arm, makes it weaker. Easier for me to bend and so on. Right? Here, his arm, he can actually turn his, his palm towards me. I, I be here, he turn his palm towards you. So, yeah, you see? I've got no arm to work with anymore. He's really strong now. So that's why I'm grabbing the hand. I don't want him turning his palm inwards, because I know that trick. Okay, so I'm going to block it before he does it. Okay? Same thing when I'm doing the top wrist. Throw this point of leverage. Twist it. Work it. Okay? This, he's strong here. Not so much here. Actually, when we do our shoulder lock, okay? Because then it's not a good one. something like that. Kind of shoulder lock. Uh, we do it with one hand. Because the way we do it is, I sink this in, and I hold it here, and then I pin his shoulder to the mat. Blocking those hips, he can't turn into me, he can't turn away from me. And if I wanted to tap him, I just need to raise this up a little bit, and there it is. I created no space whatsoever for him this way. Now, we were here, and now he's going to lose his knees, he's going to bump me, he's going to... I know he's going to do these things. Why do I let him do it? Take it all away from me. If I can just block anything off, that arm won't be mine. So before attacking the arm, I make sure that nothing can move. He's pinned. Now I'm going to submit him. Because now it's easy. Maybe it's just this here. You get a combination shoulder lock choke. Right here, sink down. Behind his head. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry. Not sorry. Mess, but so sorry. This choke is probably one of the easiest chokes ever. Boom, right here. Hands together, sink down, drive your shoulder to the mat, and there's a choke. Nice. Right? Nice. Okay. Now, I've got this going. I do the same thing. Boom. But I grab my own bicep. I don't know if everybody can see here, but I'm behind his head and I just put my hand on my bicep. Sink this in, shrink down. There it is. And if I wanted to, I could crank this at the same time and get both things going at once. 